Hi, my name is Ivo and welcome to the Volley Station Tutorials. In this video I'm going to show you what are the useful shortcuts to use while coding a match or practice. So first of all let us go to the settings tab. Here you may find the keyboard shortcuts for every effect. Um, you have a shortcut for assigning points. I would like to note that assigning points for home team and away team, they don't change when you move uh, the court, when you change a set. So the page up for me would be always would always assign a point for home team. Uh, below you may find a shortcut for uh, for moving a video, for controlling a video. I would suggest to use the same shortcuts that you would use in a video montage screen, but with modifier like shift or control. This would make uh, let's say the shortcuts almost the same in every area of the software. So while we set them up, let's go back to the matches. I will go to the to the match, and obviously, like depends what settings did you put, uh, what shortcuts did you put in a settings tab. You can move uh, the video, yeah, you can you can pause it, you can move frame by frame, front and back. Uh, what I want to show you now are the shortcuts that you would like to use while coding. So I'm sending line up now. Let me just move this to rotation 4. Uh, you press done. Now let me type here in rally and I will try to explain uh, what you can use in the volley station. So uh, I will start like that. Now, uh, if you want to use extended codes in your play, use comma. So comma moves you to extended code. So if I want to put that number 7 received perfect ball on the right side, you would need to put comma and R here. If you want to use custom code, you can use sec second comma. So second comma is going to move you to the uh, custom code always. And let's mark this play as W. Uh, later we have a place for setter call. And now let's put an attack code. And again I can use comma and type in that it was a hard spike on a single block. And now I will use page down because away team scored a point. So uh, let me undo the rally. Uh, I did that by setting up my shortcuts in the settings tab to control A. So now the rally is back in the coding window. So uh, there is also alternative way of using uh, end rally. You can use letter P for assigning point to the home team or small a P to assign point for the away team. And now you can just press enter and we still got a point for the opponent team. Now uh, Let's assume that you made a sub, so if you want to make a substitution for home team, you see uh, number of the player on a court and number of player off court that's going to enter a court. So like that I changed number uh, 10 for number 4 and now I will change number 14 for number 1. And now let's assume this was the double sub, so now you want to make uh, number 4 a setter. So you need to type in Z and the zone in which setter is. So Z1 would make number 4 a setter, as you see. Uh, if you want to move whole rotation, so you, you made an error and you're not in rotation uh, 1, but in rotation uh, 6, I mean uh, European rotation 6, which uh, for you would be rotation 1, you need to type in I and the zone where is the setter now. So I6 would move it to rotation 2 in a US, uh, US nomenclature. Uh, the other shortcuts you may use, if you want to put timeout, you use T. If you want to put timeout for your opponent or sub for the opponent, do the same, but just put a small a prefix. Mm. Let me type in another rally. Uh, so. V six 
So as you may see, uh, on purpose I made this, I put here two effects. So we have the effect of the double minus, so error and minus. And as you see, you cannot put rally now, as Volley Station is sending you an information about invalid code. So uh, if you don't have time to uh, change that during a rally, you can always use Shift Enter and it will put a code uh, in red. So now you can, let's say, assign a point to one of the teams and now you can change that. So we can just go here and delete one of the, one of the symbols and you will get a normal code here. Uh, another thing, so if you want to delete one of the plays, one of the rallies, so let's say you want to delete set, you just go over a code and press delete. If you want to add a code, use insert. So go to the list, uh, go to the place where you want to add a play. So if you want to add it under the reception, just press insert. And now you can put uh, like the setter call. So setter call would be K7 back minus. Uh, so as you will see, the code will pop up. Uh, the other useful uh, tool to use is uh, search. So if you're going to search and let's search for Minnesota's uh, services and you confirm, you will see a green highlight on the, on the code uh, with, which is a service of home team. And you may actually move between search codes by using shift and arrows. So shift and arrow down is going to move you through the next search code. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the shortcuts in the volley station.